Hey there, BZ people, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown with me, Bork from Bork and Zim Gaming. We are coming up on the last part of Season 3. We have got our all-star team put together by, uh, by me with a few changes to some of the Pokemon to make them fit together a little better. Um, we did uh, take a few Pokemon from uh, multiple teams and we did take some of your suggestions to make this team as well as um, a few ideas, a few things I learned and things I just changed to make them mesh together a little bit. But uh, we'll go ahead, we'll introduce who we have on our team. We'll go over them. You are familiar with most of these guys and some gals. I'm not gonna lie, there's some gals. Um, so Leading off this team, from the Sandstorm team, we have our Mega Emperor, the Tyranitar. Emperor is holding the Titan Tyranitar, right? Obviously, because it's a Mega Tyranitar. Uh, he has the Sandstream ability, which um, is going to be doing a little bit of constant damage to our team, boosting another one of our members. Actually, two of our members, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, he has Stealth Rocks. He is the rock setter for our team. Um, obviously, entry hazards are so huge. Oh, I can't tell you how many battles I've been in where they've made a huge difference. How many battles I've seen other people have where they've made a huge difference. Especially if you're getting those fire flying or fire bug types. Um, also, he has his stab crunch. Um, dark type move. Going to be hurting some psychic types. This guy's like a psychic types nightmare. Uh, he has his fire fang for any of those steel or bug types or, you know, ice types. Oh gosh. Fire and rock have a lot of similar strengths. Um, we also have Brick Break because it gets rid of screens. It's pretty awesome. Fire Fang, I forgot to mention, has a chance to burn, has a chance to flinch. That's why I prefer the fangs over the punches, even though they are lacking a little bit of power. They have a 20% chance of something happening to your opponent. Uh, brick Break, Fighting Type move. Fighting Type is a very important type. It, there's so many things, well, five things. Five things that are weak to Fighting Type. Um, this Tyranitar has 248 investment in HP, 252 investment in attack with a positive attack nature, a negative special attack nature, and 8 investment in special defense. Next up, from the Sand Team, we have T Emperor's good friend, Trapnel the Excadrill, with Life Orb and Sand Rush. He's going to be hitting a little bit harder and moving a little bit faster in that Sandstorm. Uh, he has Earthquake, obviously, ground type, one of the best ground type moves in the game, one of the best moves in general. Um, and any of those pesky flyers or levitators will be hit by the Rock Slide. Uh, I kind of want to switch into Mold Breaker, but we're going to stick with Sand Rush. Uh, he has Iron Head for any of those pesky fairies or other rock types that we can't hit with the Earthquake for some strange reason. Um, and uh, other ice types that the Rock Slide missed. Uh, could, and also it's Stab, so that is good. Good, it's good. Uh, and we have Rapid Spin to deal with entry hazards. Uh, we have 252... Um, EVs in attack with a positive attack nature, negative special attack, 4 investment in special defense, and 252 investment in speed. I'm hoping we get to get Sandstorm up, let this guy go in and sweep, probably late game. And uh, the speedy little guy, I'm hoping to one shot a lot of things with that life orb. Next up, we do have Deancey. Shard, all the way from our most recent team, the Sunny Day team. Shard is slightly different stat-wise, otherwise she's very similar, carrying the leftovers with the clear body, uh, so no one's going to be affecting her stats. Uh, she has Moonblast, Heal Bell, Diamond Storm, and Toxic. Moonblast is Stab Fairy, so it should be doing 
a nice bit of damage to our opponents. Uh, any fighting types? Any dragons? Oh, what's a dragon to a Deancey? Uh, she's also got that heal bell to keep the rest of our team healthy. We don't want any paralysis. We don't want sleep. We don't want poison. We don't want burns. We want it all gone. Uh, and she has Diamond Storm. That is another stab type move. Hits on the physical side. I think it's a, even a physical move. But uh, rock type move might be the only one on the team. As a matter of fact, it is not because shrapnel has one um, but does it have a chance to boost stats I feel like it does 50% chance to raise our defense by one it's pretty awesome in my opinion um, so anyway she also has a toxic because statusine is very very important uh, especially something like toxic to help wear down those walls I know it's in the last season it helped us win one battle that you guys never saw because my computer decided eh, let's uh, let's have this video be completely frozen but uh, she has 248 investment in HP 8 investment in attack with a positive defense nature 252 investment in special defense and a negative speed nature because she's already pretty slow no sense in really trying to speed her up. She's just a wall. Next up, we have uh, all the way from the Reigns Dance team, we have Thor the Zapdos wearing his Rocky helmet with pressure. We gave him Volt Switch, Roost, Thunder Wave, and Signal Beam. Now, this is the first one that we really changed up. Uh, we gave him his Volt Switch his over Thunder, Volt Switch, to get in there and, you know, do a little bit of damage, take some hits, and maybe instead of a... Anyway, um, he will be going in there, statusing some people, taking some hits, and uh, once we decide, you know what, we know exactly what our opponent's going to do, we're going to get out of here and get bring someone else in. We'll Volt Switch out of there. He has that Roost to... Because he's a tank, he's a wall. He's going to... We're hoping to keep him in there for a while. So we needed something to help improve his longevity. HP Restoring Roost. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Thunder Wave, obviously, is spread around the Paralyses. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be useful, slowing people down. Possibly making them not be able to attack half the time. And Signal Beam. Um picked up the signal beam to hit any dark types we come up across any of the, the grass types they don't like that um, who else doesn't like bug type moves psychics don't they don't like bug type moves they don't like bug type moves anymore they like dark type moves um, so there you go we will oh dark types too dark types grass types psychic types and we're gonna hit him mm -hmm. he's got 248 investment in HP negative attack nature 252 investment in defense with a positive defense nature 8 investment in special attack that is Thor our Zapdos from the rainy day team the first member that we made a significant change to the other member that we made a significant change to also comes from the rainy day team Rainy day, rainstorm, rain, rain team is Sploosh the Gudra. Sploosh now holds an assault vest with a sap sipper ability. Uh, so anyone who wants to come and use like a Mega Drain or a Giga Drain or a Tyranitar or Excadrill or maybe even a Power Whip, they're going to have to deal with Sploosh getting a special attack raise instead. I think it's special attack. Let me just double check on that. It's physical attack, so it's not really going to do us any good other than making us completely immune. I'm okay with that. Uh, Sploosh is carrying Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Sludge Wave. He's got that Flamethrower to take out any Ice types that want to come and take out our Sploosh. Uh, any Grass types that want to power us up. We don't need no attack boost. You stop that. Uh, steel types. What's a Steel type to a Flamethrower? Um... I know fire has another one that's good against bug types. They're going down. 
We don't want to throw rocks at them. We want to burn them. Uh, Draco Meteor, because, you know, it's one of the most powerful dragon moves in the game. If not the most powerful. I'm not sure I'll have to check that versus Spatial Rend. But, you know, no one gets that anyway. And I think it is more powerful. Uh, he also has that Ice Beam to deal with dragons and grass. And there's a lot of overlap. Flying types um, and ground types. This is like the first thing we really have that would be good against ground. Huh, there's no water type moves in this team. Might be a problem. Uh, he also has Sludge Wave for those fairies. And uh, just overall, I think Guja should have been a poison dragon type too. Just looking at him, it's all gooey and drippy. And the final member of our team. This is actually a set that was suggested by uh, Nicholas, one of our good, favorite BZ people who loves to comment on these battles. Uh, Reuniclus is now carrying the Life Orb over the red card. Still has the Magic Guard ability, so he's not going to be taking any Life Orb recoil. He has Calm Mind to boost his special defense and his special attack. Recover for longevity. He's going to keep healing up. Uh, Psy Shock to be as one of his special moves. I'll hit on the physical side. Gets a couple of Calm Mind boosts up and forget about it. And Flash Cannon because that will deal with uh, it's something to hit those dark types with. Also take out any fairies that want to come in and set up alongside us. As well as any ice types that we just don't feel like hitting on the physical side. Not sure why we wouldn't but whatever. Uh, we gave him 200 investment in HP and native attack nature, a 154 investment in defense, a positive special attack nature, and 154 investment in special defense. So that is our all-star team. If you guys are excited for this, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to see how this season will end. I'm going to go find ourselves a battle. Just one for this episode. And let's see how this team pans out. I haven't done any tests with this team. Already I regret my decisions. Um, I can see a Klefki lead or a Landorus Therian lead. It's a Mega Manetric. I think Shrapnel can do a lot of work for us. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and lead Thor. It is a clef key lead. So I'm going to go ahead and Thunder Wave this thing. And he's setting up the screens for his team. Okay. Um, Steel and Theory. Nothing we have will really do much of anything against these guys. Um... I'm going to Volt Switch into Sploosh. Okay, not necessarily the best move for our team. Let's see here. Who will take on this Landris Therian best? I can see a knockoff coming our way. So I will go out into Emperor, set up the sand. Not going to do us any good against this thing. There we go. There's the knockoff. Uh, let's go ahead and Mega Evolve. Actually, do I see a... Would he go for another knockoff? Okay, is he choice in any way? I'm going to risk it. I'm expecting him to be choice. I'm going to set the Stealth Rocks. He could be Life Orb. It could be nothing. It's possible. Um... Gosh, for some reason I am expecting another knockoff. <sighs> we'll go on the Thor. If he wants to knock off again, expecting that. Good for him. He sets up his own stealth rocks. And I'm gonna roost. This thing's gonna outspeed us. He has Stone Edge. Okay. Gosh, I just don't know what to do here. We really don't have an answer for this guy. I guess let's go out in the brain, baby. 
Well, shoot. Uh, I'm gonna click recover here. No, he's going for U-turn. Going back on the Thor. Why would he go for U-turn? Okay. We can't switch out here. We have the Roost. Hope he misses the Stone Edge. He does, fortunately. I'm going for another Roost. Okay, so we lost our Rocky Helmet. There have been worse things. So he's left over his Landorus. Can we get a Confusion with the Signal Beam? It's resisted. I, okay, he's out of Stone Edges. I'm gonna Volt Switch. He was trying to do something. I don't know what he was trying to do. <clears throat> but we'll go out to Sploosh. We'll fire off a Flamethrower. Oh, he was trying to set up a light screen. That was good. Set up a... Do another Flamethrower. He's paralyzed. I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. Not when you have a Landers Therian like that. Which we saw his full move set. Um, let's drop a Draco Meteor. That's not going to do anything, though. Well, not much, anyway. Another one should take him out, though. 95, 130. Um, yeah, let's drop another. Oh, good, good thing we got that uh, cool thing on him. You know, is... Uh, Vest. Let's see here. I could see that Weavile coming out firing off an icicle crash. I'm going to go into shard. Did more than I wanted to. It's a life orb Weavile. Do I think he's going to stay out? No, I don't. I'm firing off a toxic here. He might stay out. I think he's switching though. I don't know what he's switching into. Hopefully that Landorus, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh no, he stayed in and he attacked. That was a, that was a terrible mistake on our part. I have to trust that he'll miss. Well, that's what trust gets you, I guess. Okay. I'm going into Emperor. I'm going for Endgame here. I'm going for Brick Break. He's got Low Kick. But that's okay, because we set up the sand for our Excadrill. And with Sand Rush, we should outspeed. I definitely want to go for Iron Head, although Rock Slide is slightly better. I'm going to go Rock Slide. Huh. Oh, well, we took him out still. So no regrets here. My opponent still has three very, very scary mods out there. Um... We know that your leftovers. You have earthquakes and knockoffs. I'm going rock slide. <clears throat> that did nothing. And there goes our life orb. At least I can rapid spin. We'll go out on the sploosh. Yeah, he's probably going to outspeed you, but we're going for ice beam. He did give you a first salt vest, so 
But we got rid of the Landris. That's something, right? Right? And our opponent is not going to give us an opportunity to uh, set up. Nope, nope, Brave Bird. Okay, Thor, you are literally our only hope. Let's go ahead and let's go for no 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 no. I want to. He's thinking about switching out here. I gotta go for single beam. It wasn't exactly a mistake. This kind of was. Uh, let's go for that signal beam. So you got that intimidate off. Hidden power ice. Okay. And how many of those do you have? Only 22, so you can only do that 11 more times. I have that many roosts. Uh-huh, and you got a crit. That's not fair. Why are his hits better than mine? So that's dealing about how much... Uh, I got to hard switch in the brain, baby. I don't think we're going to win this. This was a really good team. Yeah. We definitely lost this, unfortunately. Going for recover. Flare Blitz! Oh, Thor, you are... Let's go for a Thunder Wave. Yep, yep, get a crit. That's a good way to uh, to end this off. Uh, he's gone already. He's got better things to do. He doesn't want to stay here and talk with me. Uh, well... You know what? There's obviously weaknesses on our team. That Landris handled us pretty well. I'm not going to lie. We really did not have an answer for him. At least not one we could get in safely. We should have saved that extra drill. Should have saved Ty Tyranitar for that late game sweep. Although, yeah. I mean, he did get rid of some guys for us, which is good. It's great. That's what we needed. Uh, but, um, you know what? That's the way it works sometimes. Sometimes you just, you make bad plays. There are certain things you wanted to go for that you should have, and you could have, but you didn't, and you could have, but you should have. If you guys know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I got stuff I got to do, like rethink this team. You guys all have a great day. Thank you for coming and checking this out. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And remember, this has been a production of Borg and Zim Gaming. We are professional amateurs.